हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल नाउ सी एंगल बाई सेक्टर इक्वेशन टू लाइन आर गिवेन दैट इज ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड अनदर लाइन इज ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू लाइन आर देयर एंड वी नो दैट बिटवीन टू लाइन्स टू एंगल्स आर फॉर्म वन एंगल इज हियर and one angle is here we can find so two angle bisectors are there we can easily find the equation of the two angle bisectors with the given lines okay so the equation of two angle bisectors will be a1x you just write the equation very simple technique as it is one thing you have to do divided by coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to plus minus the another equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 divided by coefficient of x and y square is a2 square plus b2 square that from that we are getting equation of two angle bisectors we will see now which angle bisector is of which particular properties that we will be seeing so plus minus if you take the plus sign you will get one angle bisector if you take negative sign you will get another angle bisector now we have to see first thing we will see acute angle bisector acute angle bisector okay then we can easily find if one angle bisector is acute angle bisector of course the another angle bisector will be the obtuse angle bisector how i am just giving you the methodology you just pick up one bisector suppose i am picking up one bisector uh, i am just taking two lines by two lines that will be very much clear instead of just taking these x1 y1 you will be just trapped little bit if i take two lines as 3x plus 4y plus 5 equal to 6 one line equal to 0 sorry i have taken 5 here and another line is 12x plus 5y plus 1 is equal to 0 that two lines are there and we have to find the two angle bisectors and we will see which one is the acute angle bisector the two angle bisectors will be as we discussed 3x plus 4y plus 5 divided by under root 3 square plus 4 square that is going to give you 5 i am writing here 5 directly <coughs> here plus minus 12x plus 5y plus 1 Divided by under root twelve square plus five square is going to give you thirteen. So on simplification, it is going to be thirty nine x plus fifty two y plus sixty five is equal to plus minus sixty x plus twenty five y plus five. So we will separate. two bisectors if i am taking the plus sign the first bisector is coming out to be 39x plus 52y plus 65 is equal to 60x plus 25y plus 5 okay plus sign i have taken so it is coming out to be 21x minus 27y Minus sixty is equal to zero. This is one of the bisectors. Same way, you take the negative sign, and you will get the another bisector. What actually I am doing here for that? If I just pick up one bisector and one line, suppose I have picked this bisect, this bisector, and this line. Okay, in this figure, suppose this is the line, and this is the bisector. so what i have done i have picked up this thing and this thing only okay the bisector and the line i will find angle between them how angle between them two lines we know 
tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So tan theta is coming out to be m1, the slope of this line. What is that? You can easily write minus coefficient of x that is 3 by 4 m1 minus m2 is what? minus 27 minus 21 by 27 m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 1 plus m1 is minus 3 by 4 into m2 is minus 21 is by 27 okay minus 27 so minus will get cancelled minus i have written here minus 27 because the coefficient of i is minus 27 we write the slope as minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y so on solving this we have to see what the value is coming out to be two cases will be there if tan theta is coming out to be less than one Suppose tan theta is coming out to be less than 1. UGSC, if it is coming less than 1, two cases will be either less than 1 or greater than 1. If less than 1, what does this mean? That angle between the bisector and line is less than 45 degree. So this angle will be less than 45 degree so bisector angle is less than 45 degree so actual angle which is double of that will definitely be less than 90 degree by just doing this method we can pick up which bisector is acute angle bisector and obtuse angle bisector so for finding the acute angle bisector once again i am just revising the technique you pick up one line you pick up one bisector find the angle between them tan theta as m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 and then see whether this tan theta is less than 1 or greater than 1. If tan theta is less than 1 that means the picked up bisector is the acute angle bisector and the leftover second bisector is definitely going to be the obtuse angle bisector. Hope this you are understanding. Thank you. For useful videos Log on to my channel Santosh Pimbi on YouTube or directly go to my website www.mathsonphone.com. Thank you.